Hello everyone, Rishi this side. So today let's see how with the help of variables and some conditional prototyping you can make this kind of experience where you can increase or decrease the number of items and on the basis of that we can show and hide this floating card icon button. So without a further ado, let's get started. So let's first understand the component structure here. I have an add item button with three states or you can say three variants. One is the default one, the loading state and the item counter. Here we have two more buttons to interact with add and remove and we'll set an interaction that on the click of plus or minus will increase and decrease this item count. And here I have an item card where I'm using the same add button which we have defined here and on the basis of these two we have derived this screen and I just replaced images and some fancy details here and here we have card button we'll assign a variable to this card button as well and we'll just show and hide on the basis of item count so let's first define the variables here We'll be needing two variables. One is for the counter and the other one is for displaying the card icon. So just deselect everything by clicking on the empty area. Go to local variables and let's define our first variable here by clicking this create variable. And first one will be the number type. So let's say item count. And by default, we can keep it one. And let's define another variable. This will be of Boolean type. Since we want to show and hide earlier, we'll use a Boolean type. And we can say that button. And by default, keep it false. So let's click this count layer and Click this variable icon and assign the variable item count to this. And now let's start adding interaction here. Select the default state, go to prototype window and let's add an interaction on the click of this. First, we want to set the variable cart button to two, which means Every time we hit add, we know that we want to show our card button. So that's why we are setting it to true. And another thing we want to change from default state to loading state. And we can use dissolve for the kind of transition we want to use. And let's assign that show card variable to the card button. Click this, go to the layer section and right click on this eye icon and let's assign this card button. So by default it's false. So our card item is hidden. So let's click this frame and hit play. Now you can see it's working. On clicking of the add button it is going to the second state and we are showing the card icon now let's move further so once we are at this state we want to change from loading to item counter and let's change the interaction from on click to after delay so let's say maybe after a delay of 300 milliseconds we want to show the counter let's go again to the prototype window hit r and you can see it's working fine now now let's add the logic on the plus and the minus button so that we can either show or hide this card icon 
So let's select this add button layer and add an interaction here. So on click, what we want to use, we want to set variable, which variable item count to item count plus one. So every time we click the plus button, it will increment the item count value by one. So let's go with the prototype window, hit R and let's see if it's working. Let me just zoom in a bit. You can see it's working fine. And now the same thing we need to do on the minus button. So select the remove layer, add an interaction here. Now here we want to check if our item count is greater than one then only decrease our item count so what we are saying here if our item count is greater than one we need to reduce our item count by increment sorry by decreasing a value of one so let's see it how we are increasing the value here and here we are decreasing the value now after after this point we want to change it to the add state we want to change it to the default state to the add button so we are saying if item count is greater than one just keep on decreasing the item count by one else change this to default state so let's see once again we are increasing the value and here we are decreasing the value and as soon as we are hitting one in the item count it will go in the else state and we are changing back changing it back to the default state to the add button now let's add one more thing here in this state we want to hide the cart button as well so we'll add one more statement here that set variable cart button back to false so let's see once again things in action clicking on add will add item we can increment the items as soon as we decrease the item after this point we are hiding the cart button as well I hope this short tutorial was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments your use case scenario and let me know if you want to learn more about variables and if you have any creative problem to solve, do let me know in the comment section. Thanks again. Bye-bye.